October 1st, 2020, Fluency. So number one, at a baseball game, Sheena bought a sandwich for $8.95 and two pretzels for $3.95. She paid with a $20 bill. How much change did how much change did she receive? So first, what do you think we're going to do here? So if you go to a baseball game, so we went with Sheena and Sheena bought a sandwich that was $8.95. Then she bought two pretzels and um, both of them together because it doesn't say $3.95 each. But um, she bought two pretzels and they cost $3.95. Um, so what we're going to do here is, all right, so these numbers, oh, let's add them first. So let's do $8.95. I'm going to do, the, I'm going to add it right here, $8.95. What do we do with those decimals? Line them up, line them up. So $8.95, and then she got two pretzels for the price of $3.95. $3.95. So we need to figure out first how much she paid total for these two items, or these three items, but these two prices. And then she's paying with a $20 bill, so we're going to figure out her total first. So 5 plus 5 is going to be 10. So I'm going to put that, this one up here, drop the 0. So carry that one. 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So that 1 and the 9. What am I doing with that decimal? Drop it down, drop it low, low, low. Now eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So what she paid is 12, well what her total is, I'm sorry, her total is $12.90. She paid with a $20 bill. So if she pays with $20, how much change will she receive? So the change, that means we're going to do what? Oh, we're going to subtract. So we're going to subtract. So we're going to do $20 because that's what she's paying with. I'm going to do that over here since we have a little more room over here. So $20, how can we write $20 as a decimal? Well, yeah, we have $20 and zero cents or 20 and zero hundredths. Then we're going to subtract. What are we subtracting? What was her total? Her total is $12.90. That's what she owes. So $12. Remember, we're lining up those decimals. Line them up. Line them up. And 90 cents. Doo, doo, doo. Alrighty. So now we're going to subtract. What is zero minus zero? Yeah, that's just going to be zero. How about zero minus nine? <gasps> we can't do that, so what do we need to do? We need to borrow from this zero. <gasps> we can't do that, so we need to borrow from this two to make that two a one. That makes this zero able to be a 10. Ooh, maybe not, <laughs> there you go. Now, that 10, we finally can borrow from that 10 to make that 10 a 9. <laughs> to make that 10 a 9. Let me send that to the back. Do, do, do. Ah. Send to back. There we go. So we're going to make that 10 a 9 to finally be able to make this 0 a 10. Okay. <laughs> now what we have is 10 minus 9. We know 10 minus 9. That's 1. Now what are we going to do with that decimal? Drop it, drop it down, or drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. All right, so now we have 9 minus 2, which is going to be 7. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. So you don't even need to put anything there unless you would like to. You can. Um, so how much change did she receive? Or so how much did she get back? Well, 7 and 10 hundredths or $7 and 10 cents. 
So I'm going to label this with the dollar sign $7.10 is what she will get back. Or you can say is her change. And that is our answer.